I should be careful. High security here. She is. I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Egadi. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Cassandra about the key to the Underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's cover. Why would I want her running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that. I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Cassandra has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least, that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> It's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Ernest. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. I need to get to Persephone first, no matter what. is the key to opening the gate to the underworld. So? What did you find out? 
Akati's been working behind your back. What folly is this? An outsider accusing me of treason after breaking into your sanctuary. I couldn't have gotten in if Ekati hadn't given me the key. But you did break in? Yes! To steal a journal about the gate to the underworld. You are the only one with the key. Cassandra stole it from me. Just like she stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. I know you were both involved in the distribution of Lethe's water, but you were the one who handed it to that woman. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. I may be working against Persephone, but you've been helping me the entire time. There! Out of your own mouth! You're trying to overthrow me! You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Def Kalion's heritage after this outsider helped her! The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes, no one was hurt, but Aconite was found in the wine. Your signature death sentence, if I recall correctly. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider? That someone matching your description was seen fleeing the Follower's Symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekati is my oldest friend in the Underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. Hecate has always been jealous of you. She wants your power over Elysium for herself. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Hecate's right. I have to be out of my mind to take your word over hers. Nothing's been paradise since you dropped in. You are no longer welcome in my palace. <sighs> We've received word those delinquents in Def Helion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Avenis' troops should be strong enough to take Persephone down. I should let him know.